Hello. <laughs> uh, this is lab uh, six. Sev seven. So, no, six. I'm six. sorry. I was looking at the wrong one. Lab, lab six. six. This is lab six. And we're going to go over um, the muscles of the limbs, so the leg and the arms. And helping us out is Dr. Fred Musselman. He has Special a guest. He has a PhD on himself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he will be here for lab six and for lab seven, so who knows? Scary knowledgeable. Scary knowledgeable. Muscles. Yes, he is. Yeah. So we have here, this is the arm. We have here the biceps brachii, which is this thing right here. And you can see it has, oh, oh goodness. It has these two tendons right here. So biceps brachii, two. Then you have here on the back, this is the triceps brachii. Okay. You have the brachialis, this one right here, which is between the two brachii. So this is the brachialis. You have the brachioradialis because it's on your radial side, because it's on the thumb side. So your brachioradialis. Then you have the uh, flexor group, which is the muscles right here. So when you're flexing it, so let like guys flex. And then these right here, these are extend, so girls extend. <laughs> or, or you can remember it as a, that, like when you. When you when you flex, you flex. You are looking at these muscles. So just think that when yes. you flex, you're looking at your flexor group. Yes. And when you, and you extend, extend, you're, you're looking, looking at, at your extensor, extensor group. group. So Perfect. Yes. Just so we don't go all sexist here. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> then we have the deltoid, which is this big muscle right here. Your shoulder muscle. It's your shoulder muscle. The deltoid. You have these muscles right here. So you have your, this right here, the bottom one is the teres major. And this muscle right here is the teres minor. Then, you have these bit, these muscles right here. So you have the supraspinatus, because it's above your spine, so supraspinatus. Then, then infraspinatus is right under the spine. And then on the back is the subscapularis because it's behind your spine. So the subscapularis. Now, on to your leg. Oh, goodness. It's falling apart. It's falling apart. Okay. This is your leg. So we have the tensor fasciae latte. So this muscle right here is your tensor fasciae latte and has this long tendon. It goes to your knee. The tensor fasciae latte. You have the quadriceps group, which are these muscles right here, and there's four of them. So you have the biceps femoris, which is this, wait, no, the rectus femoris, sorry. This is the rectus femoris, this muscle right here. Then you have two, you have the medial, uh, the, the vastus medialis, because it's on the medial side, because it's where you're. Um, big toe is. Yeah, that's the lateral side. No, I'm it's sorry. I'm sorry. It's the medial side. I'm so this is this is vastus medialis. This is vastus lateralis. Then under the rectus femoris, this right here. This is the vastus intermedius. Because it's on the because it's like in your leg. It's, it's like, in your leg. It's oh. not. It's not like on the outside like the. Like the rectus femoris is yes. underneath, so it's underneath, so the intermediate. Yes. You okay there. Yes. Then we go on to the hamstrings, which are on the back of your leg. So we have here, we have this one right here. This is the biceps femoris. Then on to the other side, you have this muscle, which has two different muscles right here. So you can see this line which separates the two. The one on top. Is called the semitendinosus. The one in the back is called the semimembranosus. Okay? Semitendinosus, semimembranosus. Okay? Then we have the gastrocnemius, which is this muscle right here. This is the gastrocnemius. You have the soleus, which is this muscle behind the gastrocnemius. So if I take this take this gastrocnemius out this muscle right here oh 
is called the soleus. Then we have this right here. The one, this is the tibialis anterior because this is your tibia. The one that wraps around behind it is called the tibialis anterior. Because it's towards the front. Yes. Then, let's move it around. We have here, so we have here, we have the gluteus maximus, which goes over this whole right here. The gluteus maximus. You have the gluteus medius, which is in the middle, which is, is goes across like this, so it's a cross, it's cut right here. This muscle right here, this is called the gluteus minimus. Then this one, moving closer. This right here, this is the piriformis. Yep. And, oh, one last one on your leg. The tendon of the Achilles. Or calcaneal tendon. Or the calcaneal tendon. That's the thing right here. I think, I think you could probably put either one on the lab exam and be okay. Yep. I think. Yes. Should be. And that is it for this lab. Yay! Happy studying! Yes! Okay. Hello! Um, this is um, still part of lab six, and we are going to be showing you the mink. And this is Dr. Michael Minkelberg. He also has a PhD on himself. <laughs> so. <laughs> We um, and we are going to be showing you what you need to know for the mink for the lab exam. Ooh. Okay, so first up, Leonard, where is the sternocleidomastoid? Like right, the sternomastoid next to it. Sternomastoid, I'm sorry. Sternomastoid is on the front side of the neck, so this area right here is oh. sternomastoid. And the pec the the pectoralis major is going to be right here. And the pec minor is, right is going to be right underneath it, right there. Mm -hmm. uh, the serratus ventralis, turn him around here. The serratus ventralis is going to be underneath mm -hmm. the latissimus dorsi, which is this flap right here. And then underneath it is going to be the serratus ventralis. Mm -hmm. And it kind of looks like a serrated knife because it's all bumpy. Because of the so, ribs. Yeah, because of the ribs. So serratus ventralis. ventralis. Mm -hmm. Now, don't get that confused. On the human, it's a serratus anterior. On the mink, it's, serra it's different, serratus ventralis. So don't get that confused. Mm -hmm. Then we have the different layers of the abdominal muscles. So we have here, woo, we have the external oblique, which is the outside layer. I don't know, again. I want to get too close to the computer. This is the external <laughs> oblique. The middle layer is called the internal oblique. Then the inside layer, the most deep part right here, is called the transverse, transverse abdominis. Then we have, on the back here, we have the latissimus dorsi, which is this flap right here. Latissimus dorsi. Mm -hmm. We have the clavotrapezius, which goes from the your this back part right here, which wraps around to the clavicle right here, which would, this would be the general area of where the clavicle would be. So it goes from here and wraps all around and goes to the back of the head. That's the clavotrapezius. Then we have the hamstrings, which is on the leg, which are actually which are oh goodness, okay. This one right here, the most inner side of the leg. So that's the hamstrings, or the biceps femoris. So, tell me Tricep. about the triceps. Okay, the triceps, you're, you, you have a long and a lateral head of the triceps. Again, I don't want to get too close to this computer, but I've kind of made a line right here, and this muscle right here is going to be your long head of the, tri of the triceps muscle. And then the muscle right below it is going to be your lateral head, okay? Mm -hmm. So there's a line right here that separates the long head from the lateral head of the triceps muscle. Mm -hmm. Now, Leonard, where is the biceps brachii? So the biceps brachii, so if you look, it's kind of under the 
pe pectoralis major. Oh goodness. Okay. It is this muscle right under here. And it's right under the pec major. So this one right here. Then we have the legs on the bottom. So we have here the sartorius. Let me grab it. Okay. Let me get it. This right here is the sartorius. And it can, it's a kind of the more anterior side. So this right here. We have the quadriceps or the rectus femoris, which is this muscle right here and it's right it's right it's putting kind of under the sartorius because the sartorius are on the outside right here then the rectus no yeah the rectus femoris is right here then we have the gastrocnemius which is <laughs> on the back side right here this back part on the back of the leg right there is your gastrocnemius and I think that's it for the Mink Lab. Woo! Happy studying! Yay!